boys and girls. Happy Friday. I hope you've had a great week. So today we're going to be working with sequencing the events of the three little pigs. And we're also going to be doing some rhyming activities. Okie dokie. The first thing we're going to look at is the story sequencing. Um, okay, so in this one, your job is to cut along the dotted line. So get those scissors and start cutting along the dotted lines. And then you're going to put these in order. What happened first, second, third, and fourth in the story? So those are really important big kid words that we're going to use first, second, third, fourth. And it just shows the order in which things happen. Okay, so you've already cut these out. So I want you to decide, hmm, in the story, did we see the house being made out of sticks, the house being made out of straw, Ooh, there's the wolf by a fire, or a wolf, a pig, and some bricks. Okay, so I want you to think about what order those happened in. And I am not going to actually do this. I want you to see if you can remember what order this goes in. Okay, so parents, please let them try this on their own. I'm really curious to see if they can remember what order it goes in since we've been doing it for a few days, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna push this to the center. And then out my rhyming parachute. Okay. So, in this one, we have, you can put your name at the top. This actually says name, boys and girls, N-A-M-E, name. Okay, so then we're going to look at here, and you're actually, what I would like to do a lot of times, if we were in the room, I would take another sheet of paper, and I would cover everything up but what we're looking at. Because if you look at this whole sheet, it's really distracting. Okay, so we have pig. So we're gonna look for something on this side that rhymes with the word pig. And remember the rhyming is when it sounds the same at the end. Like in cat, smat, fat, bat, yat, lat, any of those silly words, okay? So let's see, we have pig, horse, wig, or pen. Which one sounds the same? And here's what I usually do families, I usually say pig, horse, Hmm, that doesn't sound the same. Then I say pig wig. Does that sound the same? Ooh, it might. I think it sounds pretty close, doesn't it? Egg, egg, pig wig. Yeah, I think that rhymes. So I would circle the word in the picture of a wig. And a wig is like kind of pretend hair. Okay. So that's a picture of some hair. Pig pen. Now, a lot of times, um, boys and girls get those words confused when they're associated. So, if you would happen to have pigs at your house and call where they live a pig pen, a lot of times the kids would be like, oh, pig pen, pig pen, because they know those two words are associated together. But, boys and girls, we're looking for the ones that sound the same. So, make sure you're listening for that ending sound that makes them sound the same, not that they're related words. Okay, so pig and wig are the rhyming, so you would circle wig because pen, pig, ig, and n, they don't really sound the same. Okay, so then you're going to go down to the next one, and I am not going to tell you the answers. I'm just going to read through the words for you. House mouse, house hat, house straw. So you can circle the one that sounds the same. And sometimes if your, your friends or your child is very, very distractible, you're going to need to cover the top part too. So, good thing I'm in my daughter's area, so I can do this real quick. Just grab something. Okay, so sticks star, sticks straw, sticks bricks. I heard one. Okay, so then I might move down to the next one like this. Fire fire log. So again, really think about whether they sound the same or if the words are associated together because you're looking for the ones that sound the same. Fire log, fire tire, fire fan. So straw kite, 
straw sheep, straw draw. Okay, so that is that activity. And I am going to also attach some rhyming activities for today so that we can practice a little more with rhyme. Rhyme is very tricky. So that's something we're going to continue to work on. I hope you guys had an absolutely wonderful weekend. Okay, bye.